Alejandro, Alejandro. Ale, Alejandro, Ale, Alejandro. Should I have sung that to him? Damn it. No, you should not. <laughs> yeah. MLS is back. MLS is back. That's right. Yes, it no is. No more preseason fitness tests. Nope. And guess what? The results are in. For what? We were nominated. I don't know if you know. Best digital duo. What? We were nominated. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All, All right. right. Yep. Let's let's get to the results. Okay. Drum roll. Mm. Oh. Directly. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting Rachel. something in my ear. Rachel wait. and wait. Stu. Congrats, oh, no. guys. Oh, Kaylin. 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 That's the. It's the wrong envelope. This is off. Oh. Yeah. Wrong envelope. Okay. That's yeah. That happens. It's that one. All right. Uh. Oh. <laughs> What an honor. I just I just want to thank everybody for helping us get to this wow. point. Kaylin couldn't do it without you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm lucky, Stu and uh, oh, Rachel. Yeah, we should little... definitely thank them though yeah, good job, uh, for guys. being such gracious losers. Gracious losers. Way to um, way to handle that. This is awkward. Awkward. Sorry, but it feels really good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. I'll I'll celebrate Let's it. Let's go ahead and prove it now. And we are gonna prove it. You know why? Because we have a special guest coming on who's gonna help us a little bit because We'll take all the help Everybody we can get, right? We all need a little help. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's let's get to some previews. You are headed to Orlando, um, and I'm I'm curious. They're, they're taking on NYCFC. I want to know what you're looking forward to to seeing from them. Well, beautiful, brand new stadium. That that's first and foremost for me. Not a lot surprising me. I've been to most stadiums in MLS. I've never seen a game in Orlando. I've been down there, of course, to do a couple shoots. Uh, with Kyle Aaron, who uh, will be starting up front this Keep game, dropping those and hopefully names. going for that golden boot because I've picked you, Kyle, to, to represent. <laughs> um, and we're shooting an episode of the movement, so uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Another big news off the press: mm -hmm. um, Breck Shea traded to Vancouver for Giles, Giles Barnes. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, a big move for this club. Breck seemed to really be a big part of this club, but. Mm -hmm. Now he gets a new opportunity in Vancouver, and Giles Barnes, a guy I know play, from playing with in Houston, I think will pair well with Kyle Laren up top eventually. Absolutely. Um, so I'm headed to Atlanta, um, and I'm really, really looking forward to this. This is obviously their first ever MLS game. Um, they've had a really successful preseason. Huge amount of buzz in the city surrounding this team. They've sold out the season tickets. It's going to be an incredible atmosphere. But their first game against the Red Bulls, right? I mean, this is... This best is in the, East last the best year. in the East last year. So, so right off the bat, they're going to get a sense of how you know they kind of stack up against the rest of the league. So, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing how this this plays out. Josef Martinez, four goals in the preseason yeah. so far. Another guy to watch, and then Kenwin Jones, a guy I think is going to cause a lot of problems for center backs in this league. All right, there are three games on Sunday. The last of which we'll see the Philadelphia Union travel to Vancouver to take on the Whitecaps. And oh my gosh, as luck would have it, we've Whoa. got Union midfielder Alejandro Bedoya with us in studio. Thanks for being here. Are we the man. last game of the first week? I believe so. Oh, Save the best for last. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Can't hopefully wait. it'll be a good one. Um, all right, so preseason in the books. Um, how are you feeling heading into the season? What are the expectations? I'm ready for this season. Yeah. It's been a long off season and then followed by a long preseason. <laughs> so uh, I can't wait to kick off the season. Uh, I'm excited. Um, you know, the 22nd year, right? It's 22nd season yep. with 22 teams now in Atlanta, Minnesota. And so Look at you I'm knowing all your MLSs. What are we here for? Why are we here? Yeah, <laughs> why? No, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I know you guys have been focusing probably internally more during preseason, but looking towards Vancouver, what stands out to you about their team? Yeah, I think, uh, well, watching them in the past, I, I think they're kind of like uh, a team that can defend well, that, that will hit you on a counter. Um, they got some fast players like uh, Kikuta Mane, who I was able to see in, pre in uh, January camp, and he's quite the young player. I think he's a very good player, so um, we got to be careful for that. But uh, you never know on MLS, uh, anything can happen. So. Uh, we got to be ready for everything. All right, Ali, we're going to have some fun now. We're going to do a little like rapid fire of oh, questions. Okay. Are you ready yes. for this? I'm on the we're hot seat. Bring the heat. Bring yeah. the, heat. the heat. I feel it. All right, and the first one, speaking of heat, uh, <laughs> doing a little little digging. Oh, on, wow. uh, and I found this picture. This is the type of, of digging you that and, uh, does, and, and, and a certain He Cristiano did not want Ronaldo. to take my shirt off because he, I have the better body. <laughs> what is going on Wait, with this? I was, How did this even happen? I want to know, were you were you Googling Ali or Cristiano <laughs> in this situation? I will never tell. I will never tell. <laughs> you Googled me with a fan, right? Obviously, and that's what came up. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Hello. Come on. <laughs> the, um, where was this? Where was this taken? Yeah. Second? So that was at the uh, Miami Beach Edition, the hotel down there in Miami. Uh, it was a 
nice hotel, uh -huh. actually. Yeah. Actually, I was in the gym working out with my sister and my girl. Oh my gosh. And of course, the girls, they see this guy walk by, they're, they're like, like, who is that? Yeah, we just saw Ronaldo, <laughs> and I was like, what? No way. So, yeah. Suzanne and I, we want a, an invite next time. Uh-huh, sure. yeah. Well, yeah, I'll Suzanne hit you up. I'll make sure to hit you up. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, uh, Oscars, you got to pick. <laughs> La La Land or Moonlight? Whew. You can well, change your answer They later. got a really wrong last night, didn't they? Oh that was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Um, I got to go with the hometown team, Miami, Barry Jenkins, mm. Moonlight. Represent. Love it. Good choice. Up. Good choice. All right. Best number 10 in the league. Best number 10 in the league. Um, I like Piatti from Montreal. Uh, I, like I really like his, his game. Yeah. yeah. Hard not to like his game. Uh. Speaking of number 10s, uh, will we see a delicate chip on a goalkeeper <laughs> this year from you? I don't know. Um, oh. I can't be. I can't do Clint Irwin again like that, you know. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, that's if, I, Pray for if the situation comes up, and then maybe I, I try it. Why not? Go. You're, you're, you're a Philly guy now. Um, have you have you had Pat's or Gino's cheesesteak? Do you have a preference? I well, haven't. talking about foodies, like these foodie experts in Philly told yeah. me that those are like the tourist traps. Ooh. So I had to go oh. to. You're basic. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're basic. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I was told oh, that Jim's Jim's makes a good okay, one. Okay, Jim's. So if you're ever in Philly, check out Jim's because I had one there and it was pretty good. No, All right, last don't. question. Uh, Jeff Cameron, national team teammate, buddy of ours. Yeah. Uh, what is his most annoying either song he listens to <laughs> on the road or habit in the room? Habit in the room? Well, I can for sure talk about that because he's like super OCD about keeping everything clean. <laughs> I think you know about that, yeah. right? Yeah. So like. I'll change, like maybe I had to change shirts, and if I don't fold it properly, this, lo and behold, this is my section of the room, my corner, my bed. I can pretty much do everything with my side, but he'll come over and fold like my shirt for me because it's not neat and tidy. Wow. So that's like his crazy thing that he's got Jeff going Cameron for Jeff Cameron made wow. service. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I've learned a lot today. I know, that was, that was a good deep Cristiano dive. to Jeff Cameron. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've covered it all. Name he's dropping, great. got gyms, we got cheesesteak recommendations. Alec, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for good having luck me. Season. We can't Appreciate wait to watch it. You. All right, we talked about one expansion team. Time now to talk about the other expansion team, Minnesota, and they've got a tough test right off the bat. They are taking on the Portland Timbers on Friday. 9.30 p.m. Eastern on FS1. How, I, you know, they've kind of been a little bit more under the radar in terms of you know, the moves that they've made, the signings that they've made when you relate it to Atlanta, but what, are, what do you think we're gonna see from them? Well, it's a tough start for them to go on the road and probably one of the toughest places to play in all of MLS, going to Portland. I think the thing that they have going uh, in favor of them is they've spent a lot of time there in preseason. I was with Abu Dhanladi, their number one overall pick, and the MLS Super Draft this year in Arizona at the Rookie Symposium. And he was saying how they really took that time in Portland playing in the preseason tournament there to uh, understand places they like to eat, uh, the training complex, the games, of course, the atmosphere, a little bit of a taste of that. I think that will uh, be important for them. Johan Venegas had two goals in their scrimmage against um, the Timbers. He's a guy from Montreal last year that it hurt the US team with Costa Rica, Costa Rican international, and a guy I think will take a big step forward. Along with Kevin Molino, who Adrian Heath has put a lot of uh, pressure on to really step up for them. But I, I like this Minnesota team. They may not be talked about a lot, but I think they've got a, a good, good season ahead of them. All right, well, we have a full slate of matches on Saturday and a lot of storylines that I think that we need to touch on, one being Seattle. I talked about them last week. They're actually my pick because we've got a full season with Nicholas Ladero, Jordan Morris with a full season under his belt. Clint Dempsey is back. What's the outlook for Seattle, Caitlin? Good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like the new uniforms as well. Yeah, the, those are uh, the, sick. The, an ode to the 70s. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty nice flavor in there. Um, I, I like this team. I think, you know, the confidence of finally getting over the hump last year and winning a championship. And then, of course, getting Clint Dempsey back. You know, he's a, a, such a talented player. He really drops underneath. And then they've got that nice balance because Jordan Morris is probably the best threat to stretch defenses in the league. And Ladero kind of floats everywhere. So it's really pick your poison with these three. They haven't had a chance to really mold. Clint's not quite all the way back mm -hmm. yet. He said he's about 75, 80%. I expect to see him build that back into the season. But wow, what a scary fun three for the rest of the league. Absolutely. All right, and let's talk a little bit about Dallas, right? So they're visiting LA. The last time they were there, 
hoisting the supporter shield, all right? So, but now they're facing a Galaxy team. Got a new look, they've got Jermaine Jones on that side now. What are you expecting to see in this one? Well, I think this is probably the best matchup of the first week of games. You know, these are two teams that are perennially near the top of the Western Conference and the league. Potential Supporter Shield winners, both of them. I think the Galaxy may actually Ooh. make a run at it this year. Hot take. Uh, Alessandrini is a new signing, of course, for the Galaxy. They've also got Jermaine Jones. Um, back in Los Angeles, uh -huh. which I'm sure he's very happy about. And Gio Dos Santos is a guy who I've picked to be uh, potentially our MVP of the league. And uh, Jossie's not quite ready back yet, but I think he's still got a lot to prove this year. And then, of course, uh, Sebastian Leggett, getting some national team looks from Bruce Arena. Mm -hmm. Kurt Anolfo with some new energy. I, I really like this Galaxy team this year. I know every year they're always up there, but I usually like to pick against them because they're <laughs> so good. Uh, this is a year where I'm actually, I'm going for the Galaxy. Gotta give Dallas some love too though, because they're, they're, I feel like they're gonna be okay. I've got again. a cost on my fantasy team. And he's scoring so goals. I. So do I. Really? Yeah. We can oh, both. Win. <laughs> so nice. That's the beauty of MLS fantasy. I love it. Speaking of which, Guys, join our Fantasy League. We've got, how many people have joined? Like 750 people? At least, and have counting. Joined. That's when we checked before the taping of the show. It's probably doubled by then. It, this is this is very exciting. Um, so obviously, Kaylin and I have, have our teams. Um, we've got, who else is in our league? We've got Heath Pierce. Yep. Um, David Bingham yep. is in our league. Uh, I, I'm Aleko Skandarian. Yes, you got some, some basically all some the guys from my men's league. I think James Riley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to give a, a shout out to Sanjay Parker. Sanjay again, we love this kid. Sanjay gets so much. No, love he on asked the show. me. He asked me for uh, some some fantasy advice. A okay. couple some some players that maybe. Would you, know, you consider yourself a fantasy guru? I I wouldn't say guru, okay. um, but I but I feel like I've been kind of like entrenched in it for okay. the the last few weeks. So I've been doing my research. Anyway, I think um, a guy you can get it's a good bargain right now. Alfonso Davies. Four and a half million. Young kid, they're real excited about him. That's my that's that's my my bargain pick. Andrew Jacobson was in our office uh, just last week, yeah. stopping by before their Champions League game against the Red Bulls. And I asked him about Davies and he said, I don't normally hype young kids, uh -huh. but this is a kid that has all the tools to be special. Only 16 years old too. There you go. The Canadian national team has got to be happy of, about that. Full of useful information. All right, guys, and don't forget, the winner of this league can get a $250 gift card to the MLS store. So that's nothing to Ooh. sneeze at. Are they selling uh, Kalen Carr helmets in the MLS store I'll yet? We'll have to check. I don't know. They, they, there was a run, so they might be sold out. I don't know. Limited edition. Kalen bought them all. I'm just kidding. All right, let's get to some, uh, some fan comments from last week, right? I like it. I love it. You guys are getting interactive, and, and we really enjoy it. So King Ron, who is convinced that Sporting Kansas City are going to take home some hardware this year. Your thoughts? King Ron, huh? <laughs> uh, I don't agree. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry, King Ron. That didn't really sound like a hot take. I, I don't agree. I don't know. Uh, I think that basically they're always contenders, okay. you know, and they've got knocked out of the playoffs last year, I think uh, maybe a bit controversially. Well, the year before, a game of inches with a double post. So they're right there. I think what didn't happen for them is they didn't have that piece to take them over the top. Some okay. of their signings last year didn't pay off. Uh, of course, they still have uh, Espinoza, Fieldhaber, Dwyer, Graham Suzy. He plays right back for the national team, but they've got Abdul Salam there, so I think he'll still stay up. Uh, they need one of their signings to hit, and Gerso Fernandez may be the guy to make it happen. But All right. I'm tempered enthusiastic. All right, King Ron, you heard it. Yep. Um, okay, so Jacob Mariscal, he says he thinks people are underestimating Dallas again. He says this happens all the time. You, you were just giving Dallas some love, so so. Yeah, I just make, said make, that make Jacob feel better. Jacob, I just said that you guys have a chance to win the supporter shield <laughs> again. I don't know what you want from me. Plus, also, if you're Dallas, don't you kind of like being doubted at this point? Yeah. It's kind of nice to have like guys like me talk about the galaxy nonstop, and then uh, just have Dallas keep winning. Embrace that position. Embrace it. Um, all right, this <laughs> I like this one. Ditto. This is the guy's name. Ditto says Houston for MLS Cup. Car, notice me. Ditto. Yeah, ditto. Uh, Houston for MLS Cup. Let's do it. Is that it? That's all You've I You've been noticed, ditto. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. All right. And Toronto FC says, we have completely overlooked Josie Altidore. Do you agree with that? I this? do agree with that. Who yeah. said that? This is uh, Toronto FC. 
So like very the club? original. Like the club. Is the Maybe official the club? club? <laughs> They're getting in, getting there. in there. They're like, guys. You've overlooked Josie. What did about Josie, Josie? Did Josie take over the club handle? I like Ooh, that. This is like a player that. takeover. I here. like it. Uh, Josie, uh, we agree, man. Uh, I think you have been overlooked. And I think there's a reason for that. I think it's Javinko. Mm -hmm. So everybody thinks that he's gonna take away votes potentially for MVP or the Golden Boot. I actually disagree. Yeah. They can both score goals. They've proved it uh, in bushels. The, I think the one knock on can him is, stay healthy. It, can he stay healthy, right? But look, I, I think he's got it in him this year for sure. He was the best player throughout the entire second half of the season and the playoffs. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that ridiculous Stefan Fry save on him in the final, yep. it would have gone down as potentially one of the best performances as a run mm -hmm. through the end of the season and playoffs in MLS history. And I think that's going to carry over to this year. That's some serious Plus, Josie I saw him love. in New York this year, so like, Josie's my homie now. He is. Yeah. He's your boy. All right. Guess what it's time for. What's that? <gasps> Did you see that? I like to pretend like I'm surprised by this every time you say, guess what I'm, it's time for. I know what it's time for. Well, it's time. Did you see that? Love it. It's, that's like the best on Mondays. It's so good. Right? It's so good. It just Did it's, you it is, see that? It's better than my cup of coffee. Bored just, you know, Bored. really, so really intense. gets the blood pumping. Um, all right, so my Did You See That is the Columbus Crew kits, the new kits for this year. Yeah. They're sick. They're really cool. And if they want to send us some, I would happily wear one You know one what's on annoying camera. to me? Everybody last year was uh, complaining about their kits. <laughs> and I was the one who was like, yo, these are dope. And now that they have one that everybody loves, uh, everybody wants to get on the Columbus Crew SC bandwagon. I, uh, I was there through the through MLS Cup run when it went down last year, and I'm back on again this year. All right. This bandwagon stuff. All right. Yeah. They are pretty sick, though. Okay. Right? My did you see that? Did you oh. see that? Is uh, something that I actually haven't seen yet. Oh. This is a first for us. Hmm. But okay. something I hope to see, uh, and it's the dress for MLS. Yes. So hashtag dress for MLS from Friday to Sunday this weekend. Yep. Uh, opening weekend of MLS season, of course. So and everybody's got to bring their gear. Wear your gear. Yeah. And then post it. But here's the thing. Yeah, post to Instagram, Twitter, yep. wherever it is. Follow me on Instagram at CA2. Oh plug, my plug, 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 plug. Uh, and I'm trying to also get uh, use this opportunity to get Houston Dynamo to send me some of those sick. Uh, training tops that say 76 on them with the new logo. We, uh, well, um, and I'm just going to beg for them. I'll just beg, I'll, I mean, up. if anybody wants to send us some swag to wear, we'll, we're shameless. Like, we will wear it. That's why right? I'm here. Hello. Yes. Like, send, we're, us gear. send us our free stuff. You gotta Who is get it? the swag. You gotta get the swag. Gotta yeah. get the swag. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's a big, big week ahead. You're going to Orlando. I'll see you there. You're gonna come. I think so. On what? Monday, we might be. How doing can you be in so many might, different places at once? We might be doing a little, a little this week in MLS special episode you. in in Orlando next week. Just saying. So you're Firing definitely gonna want to tune into that. So keep it, keep it tuned in, guys, to MLSsoccer.com. Enjoy opening week. Sorry, uh, Stu and Rach. <laughs> I think if we whisper, they can still hear us because we're wearing we're microphones. Mic we're wearing microphones. <laughs> <laughs> I did go to SoulCycle yesterday, though. So I'm saw that. Pretty fit. <laughs>